What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Spartan Strike Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Minesweeper, which is do not get hit by any proximity mines in Operation E Mission 2. So start up that mission, and you can see this is the beginning of the level. There's no proximity mines here, so I'm just speeding this part up. Uh, just move through as you would normally, but you do want to make sure that you grab the bubble shield, which is coming up. It's right uh, on the other side of this barrier. Kill all these enemies, and grab whatever weapons you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then there's the bubble shield right here. You see I just grabbed that. I switched out my regeneration for the bubble shield. That is very important for the strategy we're going to employ to avoid the proximity mines hitting us. So just kill everybody as you see fit. And up here on this road that I'm on right now, there are five proximity mines. So you want to make sure you avoid those. You can see the first one in the lower left-hand corner of my screen right now. It is blinking purple. So we're going to just deploy the bubble shield and activate it and then it'll crash into either the bubble shield or something else on the way to the bubble shield and you can see it exploded into a bunch of tiny shards that look like needler rounds you want to not get hit by the initial explosion but also you want to make sure you avoid all those needler looking rounds so i'm just waiting for my bubble shield to recharge and in the meantime i am grabbing more smg ammo now i'm heading back and we're just going to do the same thing for these next four. So you can actually do multiple ones at once. So I activated the bubble shield, drew that one in. I'm going to go over here, draw this one in. And there's another one right up ahead. Activate that. And make sure you see that my bubble shield dissipated there. Um, and I could have gotten hit by those needle rounds, but luckily none came my way. But just make sure you look for this fifth and final one, which is in the corner there right off the side of the road. That one seems to explode on its own as soon as it activates for some reason. I don't know why. But those are the first five proximity mines, and there aren't any other proximity mines until the end of the level. So you can see I skipped ahead here. And once you blow up this barrier to get to this chieftain and the uh, end of the level, that is when the remaining proximity mines are. So you want to keep an eye out for those. These ones seem to be in random places. Uh, they're placed by the brute chieftains. So you can see there's one at the top of my screen right now. So I don't have to actually activate it to get by it. So I'm just going to scooch on the edge and not pay attention to that at all. Just totally ignore it. You see there's one on, my, on the right of my screen right now. I'm going to ignore that as well. I don't really need to go over there to finish this level. You finish the level by killing all the enemies in here. So if there's a proximity mine that's in your way, between the enemies and yourself, then you could go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, but if not, you could ignore it. You could see that Chieftain just deployed that one. Uh, that one was in a different spot the last time I played through this level, so I do think that it's random in this last part. I decided to get rid of that one with the bubble shield tactic and made sure all the needler shards were dissipated by the time I got out of the bubble shield and killed that last grunt. And the Hornet comes in and just stand up next to it and you're Security or scientific dudes will get in and then you could hop on and that's it achievement unlocked. Thanks for watching guys Click like and subscribe leave a comment. And I'll see you later for more